How would you feel if you had no access to healthy food? If every time you walk out your door, you see the ill effects that the present food system have on your neighborhood? I got tired of driving 45 minutes round trip to get an apple that wasn't impregnated with pesticides. So what I did, I planted a food forest in front of my house. The thing is, it's owned by the city, but you have to maintain it. So I'm like, cool. I can do whatever the hell I want. 16% of the nation's urban land is unoccupied and waiting for someone to transform it into something beautiful. We are on a mission to turn abandoned lots into gorgeous urban gardens that bring positive change to struggling communities. I'm Lex Carlson, and we are Gorilla Gardeners. Each week, we travel to a new city and make one neighborhood's dreams of a community garden a reality. It was just a group of people who sort of uh, took over and decided they were going to use the vacant lot as a garden. Whether it's cleaning up polluted environments, tackling legal issues, or accessing resources, our team of expert gardeners will do whatever it takes to flip this pit. We're not just growing flower beds and vegetables, we're growing a community of urban gardeners. Let's get gardening. This week, we're going to Philadelphia, PA, where hopeful citizens from West Philly are hoping to turn a small plot of land into a spectacular urban gardening center. Hello, today we are here at Plotland in West Philadelphia, a community garden operating on a vacant lot. There used to be a house here that matches the row home next door. So the house went down and people decided around the time to occupy Wall Street to occupy a lot. There are over 40,000 vacant lots in Philadelphia alone. Just imagine the positive impact on the city, even if a fraction of these lots became urban gardens. But for now, we're starting with one. Here's how. Step one, our expert gardeners assess the lot, finding out exactly what it would take to flip it. We start planning for the construction and reaching out to the local community for help. Step two, we build it. It may not be easy, but with all the help we need, we will do whatever it takes to make the dream a reality. Today, specifically, we picked up some mulch and spread it around, it sort of keeps weeds down. Step three, the reveal. After all the hard work of putting together an amazing urban garden, we get to celebrate handing it over to the community. It makes me happy that people in the neighborhood enjoy it. If you have a dream to flip your lot and change your neighborhood, we're here to help. Because we are Gorilla Gardeners. <laughs>